Right, so let's get into this. One of the biggest challenges I have as an indie game developer is how am I going to find and fix all of my bugs? I'm used to working with a team, a dedicated QA team within the AAA industry that is specialized at finding, uh, recreating, writing the repro steps and helping us fix these kinds of issues. But as a sole developer, I don't have that luxury. So what I've done is decided to turn to my player community for help. Uh, right now I've got an early access. This is my game Summoner's Fate. And uh, the small group of players right now are getting to enjoy it before it's done. And in exchange, they are helping me find some bugs um, and fix them with this handy tool I've created. So when the user encounters a bug, they can go into the menu and tap this report bug button and say, I found a bug at, uh, when I did X, Y, Z thing, right? And uh, what's cool about this is it will also trigger automatically if the game detects an error and pulls up a stack trace, it'll fire this automatically. So the user will be alerted that, hey, something's wrong. Let us know what you did so we can find it, right? And so what's cool about this is that um, one of the one of the specialized things QA is really good at doing is writing these detailed repro steps because it's, it's really hard for engineers to fix a bug unless we really understand the exact series of steps so that we can recreate the issue and, you know, really fix it. And so what's cool is that this tool will actually um, do that automat automatically by creating the um, interactive steps the user's done up to that point so that I can load it into the game and see the actual um, state that they saw prior to the bug happening. And so what we're going to do now, um, by the way, when you submit this, it would just go into a, a database um, online, which I've gone ahead and pulled into a Google spreadsheet so I can read through it and organize a little bit better. And um, today I was working on some of these bugs here that were all tied to players battling the AI, it looked like, and ending their turn and the AI got stuck and didn't do anything. Uh, not sure I tried to ending my turn, press then turn, click then turn, etc., etc. And the stack traces all look pretty similar for these guys. So what I'm going to try and do is, uh, is fix one of these bugs today for these players. So what I'm going to first do is go ahead and grab the um, game data log. And then I'm going to go back into the game and... Since I'm in the debug build of the game right now, I have got access to the debug menu. And I'm going to go into load game, paste in the game state log. And what I'm going to do is um, type in the actual player's username here, uh, scribe. And that is so that I can recreate it and see things as they saw it as the player. So I'm going to be playing as scribe here and loading up this game. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back to the world of Summoner's Fate. Okay, so here we are. Oh, yeah, there's this gladiator he was talking about. And yeah, nothing happened in the end turn there. So um, that's probably expected for right now because uh, the AI never did anything, so there, there was no other part to that log. Uh, what we're going to do so we can recreate that a little better is go back into the load game, and I'm going to delete that last interaction, which would have been the end turn command. And then we're going to reload it again. And so we can see what happens when we actually try to end that turn. And what I'm hoping for is that this should hopefully give us a um, exact reproduction of the, the game state and allow us to see what's going on in the code. So, yep, he was right. That was the last thing he did. And then ended turn. And yes. And let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Yes, there we go. So, in the debug uh, mode, in the debugger here, I can actually see what's going on. And so uh, it looks like, based on the trace here, we've got a um, 1009 error, null object reference. Probably the most common thing I'm, I, I see usually in these bug reports. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the variables here. And it looks like ability user is trying to access a property, but ability user is null. So that would explain why we're getting an error here. And what I want to do now is kind of try to understand what's, what's really happening, what caused this bug. And one of the things I noticed uh, when I was watching the game replay was that that uh, summoner character that the AI was representing had, um, had very low life left. So when the AI does their turn, they do a series of simulations to kind of predict what they should do next. And part of that simulation involves um, the player um, responding to them uh, with their counterattacks and turns. And so my guess is that what probably happened is that that 
summoner died during the simulation and for some reason it was failing the check to do their uh, turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find and validate that. So we're going to look at the actual player state here. I want to find the uh, actual player state here and the hero. Hero, hero is null. Okay. So that tells me that the summoner is null and I knew already that, uh, let's go back to that thing again here. This action is a spell. So it's on a card. And so when the summoner dies um, and is assigned null, it also assigns null to the card. So um, that should have stopped in the simulation with this check we had here can be used. So here's where it would have simulated. Action can be used true. And this should have returned false since the summoner was killed and then it would have not done any of this stuff or tried to. But we have a error with our stack here. So really, uh, I think this is a pretty simple fix. What we need to do is uh, check to see if the ability user is null and then make sure we return an appropriate statement for the action user no longer in play. And it looks like I've already got one here. Um, action user is no longer in play. So I'm going to stop this debug session and we're going to attempt to fix it. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, go here and grab this block, which probably should have been first in this check. And so what this function is doing is simply checking the legality of an action and determining whether it can be used. If it returns a disabled explanation, it means it can't be used and the text is telling you why. Um, now with this, it's still going to get that same error because remember, ability users null. So I'm going to add a check here for ability user equal to null or, and that way if the ability user is null, it'll get the same message without throwing the error. Um, with these or statements, it won't bother to check the other ones if the first one re returns true. So let's just verify if ability user is null, which means there's no longer a card user, um, the ability user has been removed from play or the ability user is deactivated, um, then that should say no longer in play. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and attempt to debug once more. Okay. So this guy is going to build and uh, yeah, debugging, debugging, running the simulator. All right. So this is kind of exciting. Um, what I like about this system is the immediacy of the feedback. Um, I got to see what was happening right there for that player. And now I can see um, in similar real time whether I can fix that issue for that player. Okay, so game's booting up here, looking good, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and once again, i got to grab this guy because we need to make sure we load the game state data using that username so that we're appropriately testing it. Um, by default, the game will restore any session that was last played when you resume, so that's cool and all, but because it bugged out, we're going to see that same behavior we did last time, so once again, we're going to go to the debug menu, load again, paste that in, delete the last end turn, and make sure that we type in the username scribe. Okay. So we're going to load it up once more, and we should see scribe's last move, and Gladiator is going to throw a spear. At the okay, so. Here we go, the moment of truth, and my turn, and... Yes! Success! Awesome. All right, so there is the victory that our player scribe should rightfully have seen had I not made such an egregious mistake. Uh, but fortunately, thanks to the help of the community um, and this awesome uh, tool we've integrated to the game, uh, I was able to quickly fix and resolve this. So in the next version of the game, this bug shall be vanquished. And hopefully no new bugs shall appear in its place, as is often the case. So yeah, I was just really excited to show this because it's, it's a real cool thing. Um, I, I wish I had this uh, in some of the projects I've worked on in the past because it just really makes things nice and easy to repro, test, and fix. And it feels really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that's our video for today. If you've got any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments.